have you been? I have been well. I know I have lost, but I am back. And I am back with the banger. Thank you so much to those that were concerned and they reach out to see that I'm doing okay or not. I really appreciate you all. Uh, you have proved that you truly are my family and I am really grateful, you know. In today's video, I want to answer those questions that I've been receiving in my DM for the time that I've been away. Just to let you know that I haven't been ignoring you, but sometimes uh, a break is needed. Um, so yeah, that you can recharge, okay? With me, I have the question. I wrote this question uh, to, for all those people that asked me on the comment or either on Facebook or Instagram. And by the way, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, please follow me and uh, also Facebook. I'm Terry L. Stefan. And there we can get to know each other more other than commenting. Also, commenting is good, but I want to know you and interact with you. The first question that I got is, when is DV 2024 resort are going to be out? The resort will be out on May, that is 6th May 2023. So, Keep your document ready and uh, keep saving the money and be prepared with all the documentation that is needed. Okay. Number two question that I got is I lost my confirmation number for DV 2024. That is green card lottery 2024. What should I do? All I can tell you is don't worry. The reason is you can always... Um, you can always retrieve the confirmation number when the result comes out you have a way of getting the confirmation number and you'll be able to check your result and when that time comes i'm gonna take you through because it's something very simple you just need your information that you used when you are applying for your green card things like your year of birth uh the surname um and uh, your email address that you used Sometimes they ask for the phone phone number, but that is optional. So when you have those things, uh, so make sure that you remember the email that you used uh, for you to retrieve that and uh, make sure that you have the correct uh, yellow pad. The next thing is, um, will they email uh, me when, um, when the result comes out? The truth of the matter is that no one will email you and that's why they usually give uh, a confirmation number. That paper, you need to keep it safe um, and be prepared. And uh, when the result comes out on May 6, 2023, you will be able to check your result. You just need to follow that instruction. Uh, put your confirmation number and the year of uh, and the year of birth and you're good to go to check your result it's that simple don't worry about that and when the time comes your girl will be here to take you through and uh, to guide you to the end until you get your visa and come to the usa okay the next question is i got this one i was surprised um if my and the spouse win let's say we are married uh, the wife win and the husband did not win can they switch so that the husband can come before the wife and the wife to follow later the question is absolutely not um you can't switch all you can do is that you can attend the interview as a family and yes, that's the only way you can do it, but you cannot switch. Otherwise, if people switches, this thing is go is it was gonna be a mess. Reason why someone can steal your uh, confirmation number and they change it and they say that you switched. So you see, so these things cannot happen. So, yeah, for the question for the person that asked me that, uh, just know you can't switch. And um number four that i got uh no number five actually um how do you prepare for the interview after the result comes out or uh, even to the uh dv 2023 that are doing through the interview this one is also good for you because 
um some people are so nervous on when it comes to dv lottery uh, uh like interview but one thing i can tell you is very simple it's the most simplest interview that you will ever do in your life ever i'm not even kidding on that because they ask you what you already provided to them and that um entails your personal information that you give uh the details of your host uh maybe they may ask you about your education the simple things for me it was like only three questions um which state are you going i say texas uh did you go to college i said yes what did you study i said i studied civil engineer and they were like congratulations welcome to america so interview is all about keeping your document in order and uh, making sure that everything is ready if you said you're married you gotta have a way of proving that you've been married to this person and uh, say that you've been married for a while and be able to prove that like have like the wedding such a marriage certificate sometimes they may need like the photos together not everybody that has been asked that but when they see um that the marriage seems suspicious now they can ask those questions they can ask uh, how do you prove that you guys have been married for example there is a lot of cases uh, where people can be getting married for the case of green card and the usa government don't want that they want to see that those people that are coming as married couple they generally were married uh before or even if it's after the result comes out and you want to come with your spouse let's say you are fiance and you decided to get married then you have to have uh, a way of proving that i have been this person for this time and i can prove with this one maybe the bank statement or it's not a must to have a bank statement because i remember i said that statement one of the video and someone else said where can we get a, a, a joint account bank it's not a must but if you know that your marriage is new or something like that you gotta have a way of backing up your your story that is called evidence okay and um the next question which is number six is how long will it take for the interview uh i mean for one to go to the interview after the result comes out like it's not that uh, a case where you can generalize uh everybody that is the winner because uh they can't interview everybody at like one day you know so that's why they come up with a way of uh giving a priority list and they give the number in every specific region let's say for africa uh we have europe uh we have um america like uh, north america or something like that and they give them numbers uh after uh, when they issue in the results so the number that starts from one go the way to thousand and thousand so let's say if your number is one you are, will be the among the person to be interviewed and this uh interview once the result comes out uh on may the interview takes time it will start on october okay october and the interview will go to uh october november december and then start to to the following year that is january all the way up to september 30th so the lowest your case number the high the highest uh, priority you will get and the highest the case number the low uh, the lowest the priority you will get so if you get one you will be among the first person to be interviewed if you get like uh, 60000 you will be among the last person to be interviewed so it's that simple uh, and the next thing is how much will it cost me uh, for the whole process um I can say that it will start uh you will spend around fifteen hundred dollars to uh seventeen hundred dollars and this is inclusive of the ticket uh of the green card fee uh the the interview fee and the medical fee and the flight i'm including this and i'm giving the estimate according to how i i did it and don't forget this is per person so 
that is around 186,000 Kenya shillings to around 2,000, I mean 200,000 Kenya shillings, and this is per person. So if you are a family of let's say three, you have to multiply this with the amount. And that should give you an estimate or a rough idea of how much you should be saving right now as you wait for the result. And the next question is, if I applied for the green card, but I don't have a high school certificate, what happens uh, if I win the green card? The most important thing that they um, insist on is to have at least high school certification and with a mean grade of d minus so if you have a d minus and above you have uh, you can apply for the green card also if you don't have a certificate you can have you can qualify with two years of experience but you have to note the chances are minimal but some jobs can make you get this chance. They, if you have the proof that you have been working, let's say, for example, you have been, you studied as a plumber and you have certification, you have been doing work for the last two years, you have a way of proving that. Then, this, when you take this evidence to the embassy and they ask you this, uh, they may consider you. However, I say the chances are low, but why not try? You know, there is no harm in trying. Sometimes you may lose the money for the medical and for the visa, but it's better to know that you did not get a chance, but you tried your best, you know? So I'm not here to discourage each other, any one of you. I'm here to encourage you, to guide you to this process and uh, to motivate you to the end. So this is the most, uh, the, uh, the most question that I've got. I have one question that I will need to have a whole video talking about that subject only. How to become a data science, a data analyst, a data scientist, how to uh, enter uh, IT field in the USA. There's a detailed video that I want to take time to prepare because I want to guide you in a way that you will uh, you will be helped and you will start or kick start your career as a data analyst okay thank you so much for listening to me thank you so much for so showing me love by always checking on me all those three weeks that i've been quiet i promise i'm back and i will be back with banger after banger after banger so until then i will see you next time bye bye